like I was saying, Pandas allows us to load in data and do analysis on there. And, you know, we've been working with the CSV files, uh, the CSV, and, well, technically speaking, we could take our data from a CSV file and then load it into do data analysis. Now you see I am providing two separate options here. I have uh, sort of the pandas variation and the numpy variation because we can convert it into a numpy array as well. I do want to point out one little thing about a numpy array to start. So if I came in numpy as np. Now the thing I want to at least stress is uh, one we're going to try and load in that uh, iris.csv file. I've got it in my uh, data folder uh, that we've been working with uh, in the past. And so I'll go ahead and I'll say I'm going to call it iris because that's what I did in the slides. And mp load text. Now the first thing it's asking for is the file name. Now remember we're dealing with the fact that all of our files are in different locations. So in my case for example uh, I'm currently working out of the core uh, library uh, or core folder. Now one of the things I'm going to have to do to access the iris again is I have to go up a library down into the data folder and there's where that iris.csv file is. So again in Python that's going up with two dashes uh, going down into a folder the data folder iris.csv. Now one of the things that I will need to specify with uh, NumPy is I do need to uh, specify what the delimiter for those values are. And so in this case, it would be the comma. So, okay, I'll go ahead and run this. And it errors. So the entire idea, and specifically, here's the key reason that sometimes NumPy is not the best option for loading data. Specifically, NumPy will not handle those strings that are inside that CSV. If you're dealing with a CSV that does not have all of these things, NumPy will be great, but we have them, so we're running into a problem. That's where Pandas can come into play. Now, Pandas has its own library and own uh, approach to loading in uh, a CSV file. And in fact, it's simply called read, and you can already see it's got a few options, but the one we're looking for right now is CSV. Now, it's got a number, oh my goodness, you can see just the list of things going on. Luckily speaking, our CSV file is pretty straightforward. Uh, it still needs to get specified by going up the directory, down the directory, and into uh, that file, but that's all I need to write. Uh, I actually don't need to write anything else. So go run. You see I get no errors, which is always great. That means code worked, uh, hopefully. And I can print my iris. And wouldn't you happen to know it, it's got all of my data. Now, some of the things that you should kind of take note of here is it is loading those data. Uh, it is sort of having to, there we are, I'll, I'll resize a little bit. Uh, to make things readable, but you can start to see it's pre presenting out each one of the records as is lined up with their particular features, very similar to what we saw when we built a data frame. Now, one of the issues is, well, the Iris data set has a lot of data in it. Not a, a lot, lot, but 150 lines is kind of a lot for my screen. And so it is cutting it off. And it, uh, one thing to point out, it's printing everything. So printing everything by sort of providing these dot dots here. It's basically saying, oh, hey, there's more entries. We're just going to skip over them to the very end. Uh, and then it's at least telling me, hey, here's how many rows and columns you have. One of the things that you can do, this is actually one of my favorite uh, techniques, especially when I'm trying to look at you know my data and uh, some of the ways that I'm kind of doing analysis on there, is I can use a function called head. Now, specifically the head function uh, in a data frame just prints the first five entries of your data frame. So in this case, instead of seeing everything and whatnot, uh, I'm only seeing the top five. Uh, there is the other one, uh, you know, head versus tail. Tail will do the same thing with the bottom. I don't use it as often. That's just more, you know, uh, I like to use head 
Uh, but those are ways that we can load data into our pandas, or load a CSV file into a pandas data frame.